name's Ginger and this is Sydney and she's my guest Hello. today. And today we're going to make some ratatouille and some Parmesan crusted chicken. Um, so, to start with, we are going to have Sydney go ahead and super slice thin all these potatoes for Perfect. us. Perfect. Love to. I'm going to grab you a knife. Alright. Okay, and then while you're doing that, I'm going to get us the roux started because there's a creamy sauce that we're going to be putting in our ratatouille. Okay. And we'll get that going. I've never made ratatouille before. I'm excited. I love the movie. But yeah. I personally <laughs> love the movie. So the first time I made ratatouille was because of the movie. I think that's the first time I ever actually even heard of it. So <laughs> this will be yeah, good. Yeah, ratatouille is fantastic. It's a really, really good vegetable um, dish. Um, and it has eggplant, which I'm not normally a fan of eggplant because eggplant's one of those weird vegetables. Right, but no one really knows what to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. So in ratatouille, it's pretty darn good. Mm, that makes so. me happy. All right, so we're going to make a cream sauce that's going to go in the ratatouille. And so what we're doing is I'm melting some butter, and then we're going to add some flour, salt, and pepper to it and then some cream. And then when you're doing that, as soon as those are all sliced, this should be boiling. Okay. And then we're going to boil them just for a few minutes while we slice other vegetables. Awesome. So we're gonna put some salt in for the potatoes. And I'm pretty generous with the salt. It adds good flavor. More salt the merrier. Well, it's, I, you know what, I'm a fan. <laughs> Sodium all the way. And then we'll, let's do, let's do three of them and see what it looks like. Okay. So I have two pans here for us. Okay. Um, one so that you can take some home for dinner. Oh, thank okay. you. You bet. And then just one for us for dinner here. Yay. Awesome. So what made you decide you wanted to try to make ratatouille? Basically, it's one of those foods that I've always wanted to try, but have never ever found a restaurant that serves it. Never ever found someone who could cook it. Never been brave enough to try cooking it myself. <laughs> so I thought, what better person than inspiring Ginger well, to cook? Well, hopefully we can get this all figured out so for you and it'll be the dish of your dreams. Yes, I'm very excited to learn. This is all new to me. So Ginger, tell me more about your spices. Well, so my nice kitchen has um, 15 different spices that we carry currently. And um, today we're actually going to be using um, our Italian seasoning. Yum. And so it has basil and tarragon and um, oregano and garlic and all the fun stuff in there. And then also we're going to be adding some pepper garlic to some things just to kind of give it an extra boost of garlic and some extra pepper. Um, so they're really, really good flavors. Um, and in here they, all, they should be really good bold flavors. So it should be very flavorful. Um, some of the other ones that we um, do uh, use a lot are um, our onion mix. Okay. Um, in fact, last night I used it making a French onion dip, Ooh. which was divine. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things that you sit at the couch and you get a bag of potato <laughs> chips and, bag of and a bowl of that and it's the gone. potato chips are gone instantly. Yeah, and you wonder who ate the darn <laughs> chips. <laughs> so, um, I'm guilty of that. Yeah. And then I also made some guacamole um, Ooh. with my Mexican spice. Yeah, so you got um, Mexican one too. I so did. how many total did you say that there were? Currently we carry 15. 15, okay. Yeah, um, I have approximately 30 more to add to the wine. Oh my goodness gracious. But we'll just add a little bit. So a lot wine. more to come. Yes, absolutely. That makes me excited. Absolutely. Oh, that's fun. All right, looks like our flour, our water, oh, excuse me, our butter mm -hmm. is all melted. So we're gonna stir in Flour. And then we're going to add a couple tablespoons of the flour and salt and pepper. No, so that we, yeah. But you want to kind of bring it to almost like a boil to get rid of the flour flavor. Otherwise, when you um, pour the milk in there or the cream, then you get it tastes like flour. You're right. You and don't want that. Yeah, we don't, don't want that, that flavor. So we'll stir it for a little bit to make sure that we don't burn the flour because you also don't want that. We're not making a, a gumbo. Right. It smells yummy. Okay. Okay. These are good to go. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's see what you think. Oh. 
That should do us. Yeah, go ahead and put those in there. Yep, and we're just going to boil them for about three or four minutes or so. Just kind of start cooking them. And then after you're all done with that, if you want to just start slicing, I've got the same thickness. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do two and two of the zucchinis. So two summer squash, two of the zucchinis. Awesome. Same thing, thin? Yep, really thin. Okay. Alright, and we're going to start adding the cream now. We just add slowly so that it doesn't um, curdle on us. Mm -hmm. You can also heat it up a little bit. So the first time I made ratatouille, it didn't call for this really wonderful creamy sauce. Okay. Which was still really good. Right. But this creamy sauce just gives it just an added layer of flavor. Mm, anything with cream. Oh, yeah. I'm all it, about it that. can't go wrong. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to let that boil for just a little bit. Hopefully thick enough a little bit. started to boil before you got here so we can make sure that we oh, good. were, you know, that it was quick. Yes. So Ginger, how long does it typically take you to make, or I guess I should say what goes into creating the spices? Um, basically it depends on what we're making in terms of, um, but we make everything in-house, so we do all of our blends in-house. Let's separate this out of it. Now we get it out of your way. Oh, I think we're going to have plenty of vegetables. And I was worried. Oh, looks like. Alrighty. Well, once we have everything sliced up and everything mixed up, we should be able to put this together really quickly. Cool. So did you tell your husband that you're bringing home dinner? Oops, I'm dropping everything. I did. I said I'm bringing home dinner and it's going to be fancy. <laughs> and it's going to be delicious with all these homemade spices and fresh veggies and of course, all the things like cream and butter. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, you that. know. Yeah. yeah, gotta have that. Two of these, the squash, butternut squash? Um, yeah, let's do two of those. Okay. Well, when I watched the movie the first time, Ratatouille, and I, that uh, food critic. Do you oh. Remember, do you remember the movie? Uh-huh. That skinny, The really skinny, tall, skinny, skinny yeah. dark guy. <laughs> right. And not the most friendly guy either. Right. And, um. But I remember when they served him ratatouille and the look on his face, like this was the most divine thing ever. Right. I thought, I have to figure this out. So <laughs> that was my, when I started venturing out trying to figure out the ratatouille scene. So um, you've made ratatouille before? I have made ratatouille. How often do you make it? Um, probably only a couple times a year. Yeah. Um, just because it's, I, I, it's a lot of vegetables. Yeah. And if, uh. I don't have anybody else here to eat it. That, yeah. That's a lot of vegetables. <laughs> that's a lot of vegetables for one person to take yeah, on. That's a lot of vegetables. Right. All right. I think we're going to be able to get all this cream in there. I don't want to make it too thin. So what goes, I mean, I guess you're kind of telling us as we go, but what goes into the sauce that you put on it? Okay. So the, the, the base of it's going to be is tomato sauce. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And what I've done is I've added, um, Italian seasoning to it and the pepper garlic before. Oh, and into the tomato sauce. Yes, and okay. then that way you can already tell you stuff, uh, meld together. You know, the flavors right. can be there. So then we're going to layer that and then we're going to drizzle the white sauce around okay. in it and kind of swirl it around. Yeah. Then we're going to sprinkle some more Italian seasoning and some garlic and then some sprigs of tarragon and thyme. Okay. And those are going to be sprigs. So when you're eating it, you don't want to take those out. Gotcha. So those will be on there, and then we're just gonna start layering the vegetables. Cool. And they're gonna look beautiful. Right. Um, and so, and it is better in a circular pan because you want it to like kind of swirl. And right. You want it to kind of go yeah. in a circle. Yeah. I do um, remember from the movie that it is a very colorful dish. Yes. <laughs> well, and when you look at all the vegetables we're using, I mean, we've got red bell pepper, we've right. got eggplant, we've got zucchini, and yellow squash, and potatoes. Right. Okay, um, so on the potatoes we've got that you really sliced, good. Uh -huh. so we're right. not cooking okay. them all the way through, we're just kind of like pre-cooking them a little bit. Because, because all of this are, will go in the oven eventually. Right, this gotcha. is all going to go in the oven together, uh -huh. but we don't want them to be raw when these are all cooked. Right, makes so sense. So we're going to give them just a few more minutes, because okay. it wasn't quite boiling when we started. Okay. So you go ahead and keep slicing up, yep. Yeah. And we want these 
also in slices. Okay. And then when we're putting it in, we might have to like cut them in half to make them all fit. Okay. So circular slices like yes. this. Gotcha. My favorite, but I mean, I do know that that's what a lot of people use it for is just a meat replacement because hmm. it takes on the flavor whatever you're putting in it, right? That makes sense, kind of it soaks up everything, yeah. So, what else have you used it with besides? I mean, um, is that pretty much pretty it? Pretty much because again, eggplant's not my favorite, <laughs> so I have done it with her as, as an eggplant parmesan. I've also put it in lasagna. Oh, that sounds kind of good. Um, I did not eliminate the meat though. I just put right. it in. <laughs> just on top of the meat. Yes, actually, I put it in instead of noodles. Oh, there you go. Um, mm -hmm. So our sauce is beautiful. It is nice and creamy mm, and yeah. smooth. So we will be adding that as soon as we get something else. Ready. It almost looks like an Alfredo, but it doesn't smell like one. It, it smells definitely. different. Yeah, there's no no cheese in that. I have found that prepping bowls are an amazing thing because it helps kind of organize. I'm sure. Well, it really does, and so. It uh, keeps things together, but that way you don't have like piles of things. You can exactly. actually keep it together. So, all right, well, we got there. All right, I'm going to strain these and then I'm going to kind of pat them dry. Gotcha. All right, teach me how to cut this eggplant. You can eat all this stuff inside, so I'm good to just cut it up. Um, yeah, just go ahead and just slice away. Okay. Same thing, slice Yep, same in. thing. Okay. A little bit more stiff of a vegetable, huh? Yeah. A little more hearty. Okay. Potatoes kind of dry a little bit, not dry, but so you know, we're gonna put some paper towels underneath there so that we could not have them all wet. Alright, since you're done with that, we are ready to put this together. We're gonna add a little bit of nutmeg to this, just to Ooh. give it a little bit so I have fresh nutmeg here. And we're just going to break some out in there. Nutmeg is one of those things that's really strong flavored. You don't want to add too much because it kind of overtakes everything. I discovered that one time when I was making cinnamon rolls and I thought, oh, nutmeg's a great addition. <laughs> then but they turned into nutmeg rolls. They were nutmeg rolls. <laughs> so. <laughs> This is, we're going to add a little bit of nutmeg to this just to Ooh. give it a little bit. So I have fresh nutmeg here and we're just going to break some out in there. Nutmeg is one of those things that's really strong flavored. You don't want to add too much because it kind of overtakes everything. I discovered that one time when I was making cinnamon rolls and I thought, oh, nutmeg's a great addition. <laughs> then but they turned into nutmeg rolls. They were nutmeg rolls. <laughs> so, all right, and we're going to get these sprayed. So we're going to spray the pans. We don't want to stick them to them. And I'm going to spray this one for you guys. So let's take, take some of this. We'll stir it a little bit. Yeah. You can smell this. You can smell the spices in this. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Okay, and you don't have to pour it all. You want to make sure you have a layer, basically, is what you're trying to do. So it may not take all of it. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Just some olive oil. And then don't run the fingers, and you're welcome to do the fingers too. <laughs> but got to have some garlic. Okay, and then 
then we're going to add a little bit more of the Italian seasoning. Okay, so just sprinkle on just top. sprinkle on top, and then we're going to add the sprigs of. So these are fresh tarragon and thyme. And you said that both of these go into a lot of your spices. Yes. Yeah. All right, and then we are going to just kind of drizzle. This is very fresh, not even dried or anything. Mm -hmm. Nope, it is very fresh. All right. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Okay. Again, I won't use it all up, but. Mm -hmm. until our circle is packed. This is an art. I'm going to snag a few of these for you. Yep, I think we're definitely going to need to cut these in half. So. Actually, I can go ahead and just... Okay. Cut these in half, and I'll cut the eggplants in half, too. Trying to remember the order I did this in. Yeah. <laughs> it's a puzzle. Oh, it smells so yummy. So now if we had time and we've been doing this all day long, we make fresh homemade artisan bread to go with it. Mm. But I cheated today and I just bought us a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. Okay, we are now cut in half. I know, right? This is the puzzle. This is when you were a child, remember, and you did the sequence things in school? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is what we were playing, but that is right what we are doing. Yeah. Potato. Squash. Even the potato's a little bit big in some spots, but oh well. I think that we're going to be okay. We're going to get the idea here. You are a magician. How does how are you getting yours to stand so perfectly? Just holding it. <laughs> Just, Just holding it. <laughs> yeah, that's all we can do. <laughs> now, as we go, we're kind of swirling it. Yep. Yep. So you're gonna kind of actually that actually might help. So we're just kind of like lean it against the lean it up. There you go. And that should be easier to keep it in place. Yeah. So the first time I made this, I actually did it in a square pan, okay. and I just did it in layers, okay. um, which wasn't nearly as pretty as this is. Right. We are going to have the most beautiful dish <laughs> ever. The cool thing is, is as it's cooking, then all this, um, the sauce is going to boil up through it. Ooh. And it's going to flavor all these vegetables. Ooh. And it's going to be, like, so good. I'm drooling. This is that good. That sounds so good. <laughs> I'm so excited. It does take a minute to cook it. So that nice thing is, is we should be perfect when it comes to timing. Because um, this is going to take almost an hour to cook. Okay. Um, and then our, but our 
Parmesan, our chicken is only going to take about 40 minutes to cook. Oh. So by the time we put this in the oven, we could be able to put that together and have them all in the oven together. Awesome. And we should be really close to being done on almost the same time. Perfect. So and then you can go home and your husband can go in awe over your spectacular <laughs> talents. This creation. I think, I think we're there. What do you think? Wow, that was we're, beautiful. All right. So we have, can you see that there on you? Okay, awesome. All right, so we have a ratatouille. Mine kind of ended up being like a little blob in the middle, yeah. so <laughs> nice it's okay. Chunk. And then I'm just gonna kind of drizzle a little more oil on top. Mm, yeah. Okay, and a little bit more Italian oh. seasoning. Oh, looks like we already have some out. And just a little bit on top. Mostly just for, for make it pretty. Okay, and then a little salt and pepper. And I am really bad about just taking the lid off and doing my thing. So it doesn't ever seem like it shakes it out. That works so, for me. Salt and pepper. Okay. All right. And then let's go ahead and put these in the oven. Okay, so we are back and everything is coming out of the oven. Look at that, that looks so good. Oh, it's so bubbly and yummy. All right. You will not believe how good it smells. I have to say. It is it, so yummy. I can't wait to try it. Uh, do you want some of this juice? Yes, I do. Okay, we've got all that More wonderful. sauce than Mary here. Yeah. All right, now we have something to suck that bread up with. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's give it a try and see what we got. Ooh, I'm excited. Cut into this. Oh, wow. Can you smell all those spices in there? Oh, you really can. That's what smells the best. Nice and piping hot. No doubt. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. That is so good. Mm. Well, what you you can tell the difference also between these spices and regular spices you buy in the They're store. They're kind of bold, they have a more bold flavor. It, yeah, don't they? it's more yeah. punchy. And it's one of the things that I really pride myself on is that we kind of made it so you didn't have to use a lot of spice because right. it's so bold. It's potent, exactly. Oh, it's so good. Oh wow. Mm. Well, mm. so there we have it. We have some ratatouille and some parmesan crusted chicken. Um, and you can check out the recipe on myhoneyskitchen.com or on my YouTube channel. Um, and then you can also, if you have any questions or any comments, we would love to hear from you. Um, thank you so much for spending time with us this evening. Thank you, Sydney. Of for course. All of your thank time. you, I Ginger. I sure appreciate it. It's being delicious. Here. <laughs>